Alright guys, it's Friday. I love Fridays. Um, basically in my last video I said I reckon I'd be able to knock one of my um, black rock nut brown owl and was down in about 10 seconds or so in my two litre stein. And um, Brewmaster Ben commented he wanted to see me do it. So I'm like, oh shit. So I thought, okay, well I did say it but I don't know, I'll give it a damn good go. Um, I can't time myself, but I'll be able to watch this back and then time how long it take me. I'm um, doing this in the kitchen because the sink's right there, just in case. I'll have to do this quick because the missus is not back from work yet, so, and I don't want to see me do this. But anyway, right, this is for you, Ben. Ready? Oh, I'm scared. Right, go. Well, there you go. <coughs> um, ten years ago, I could have done that. But anyway, the point was, <laughs> we've got it now. The point was, the beer is so lovely. It's one of those beers that you can drink. Well, I've nearly drunk a, a pint of it, so no, no one about it. God, this problem is it's really gassy. Um, yeah, so, I mean, you've got to remember it's two pints. I might give this another go at a later point um, in one point glass. But yeah, I'll, I'll carry on. <coughs> right. See... Right, when I bottled these, I bottled them all uneven. Some are really high, highly carbonated, like this one. That's my excuse. And some aren't. So the ones that aren't, I reckon I could smash them down. But, yeah, this is pretty much too gassy to, um, yeah. Yeah, by the time I've drunk a bit of it, yeah. Oh, I just want to, all I want to do is burp. But anyway, it's a good way of getting a few points down, isn't it? <coughs> oh my lord. Nearly. God, it was so much easier when I was young. I could have been on my second by now. And some whiskey chasers. Well, wishful thinking, but anyway. Um, right. While I'm here, contemplate drinking this, I'm just going to update you on the cherry brandy. Um, basically, I've got one more thing to do. I have to wait. Um, until it clears and then I add the flavouring um, and it's supposed to sort of clear in a week no it's been two weeks and it's sort of clear but it's not crystal clear I, I want it crystal clear so the instructions say basically you got to ring them up which I did earlier uh, about 10 minutes ago and they said yep yeah, no problem they send something out, out to you straight away um, Really, in hindsight, as soon as I bought that, I should have read that and I should have thought, well, just in case, I'll ring them up then. So, warn it, well, it's just a little tip. If you buy one of those Prohibition um, cherry brandies or, or different flavoured um, liquor, uh, just ring them up and say, look, it's um, not cleared yet. It's been like sitting there for two weeks. And they don't even ask any other questions. They go, yep, yeah, we'll send one out, out to you. It just saves a whole lot of time. So I could be drinking my cherry brandy now. I could have been doing a taste test. Um, oh. But yeah, fingers crossed there. I'm sending something out soon. And 
I'll do one, well, hopefully I'll do it, sort it out. It only needs to clear, and that's it, and it's ready. And then I can do a taste test. Right. Look on the timer, it's been five minutes since I started this. Oh well. Well, I've got to finish it. Done. Not Never mind. Anyway, so I've sort of calmed down now a bit. Um, because I wanted to do the drunken dog review. It's um, seven point six percent. Christ! Uh, it's made with water, malt, hops, and yeast. <laughs> that, that's great information. Yeah, all I know it's um, drunken dog. There we go, right, I'm going to crack this open. Uh, use a different bottle opener. This is the one I got in Spain. It's a fridge mag magnet, just like the other one. But that's what we do. Every time we go somewhere else, just get a fridge magnet, magnet up. See, it's still drunk. And it's not going to get any better. Anyway, right, let's crack this open. This has been out in the conservatory for a week now. That's well cold. Oh. No hiss. Yeah, struggles. It's the same as last time. Same as um, hockey doo doo doo. Well, sort of. It's got a different aroma to it. Hmm. All right. Well, let's see how it pours. Try and get a bit of a head on it. Have a look. Yeah, I might have got a little bit of a sediment in it, but yeah. Oh well, never mind. God, oh, smells. It smells very hoppy. Very, very hoppy. And it smells very thick. Thick bodied, if you know what I mean. It's sort of like, I don't think I'm going to need anything to eat after this. It's full bodied. Mmm. Christ. It smells lovely. Um, just to recap, um, this is from, I think it's Scrumpy's, Scrumpy's Brewery. Yeah. Um, they're based in Ferrum, which is where I live. So, um, I reckon I can go down there and get some more of these. But I definitely like the Hop Doodle Doo. That was beautiful. That was really nice. But, right. Okay. Let's, let's put that there. So we all know what it is. Right. Let's dive in. Oh, colour wise. Yeah, it's like a. Um, Mmm, it's like a reddy colour. Mm. Where's the torch? Mm. This torch ain't. It's quite clear. No, I don't do nothing. <laughs> oh well, right. anyway. 
let's crack this, let's, let's give it a go. Right, straight away, I'm tasting. Um, this is it's not to my liking. Um, it's seven point six. It's it's quite strong. Um, I've sort of had sim similar before. Yeah, it's. it's it's not an easy drink to drink, um, so I'm not I'm not very good at uh, distinguishing like flavours and tastes and stuff like that. You know, I just basically say that it's good. If it's good, it's good. If it's not, it's not. Um, this is good, but it's not to my tasting, to my liking. Um, Yeah, it's sort of like got one of those darker ale, sort of like, I don't know how to explain it, like an old fashioned ale, it's um, no, I don't like it, um, yeah, it's fair enough, you either like beers or you don't, um, drunken dog, no. Well, oh, that's um. I'm a bit stumped now. I'll give it another go, you know, as I always do. It's a, I think it's an acquired taste, really. It's um. Yeah, it's the aftertaste is. Ugh. No, sod it. Scrap that. I don't like it. Um, I don't know what to say. Uh, there's not a lot of beers that I don't like. Um, I quite like, you know, um, out there there's loads of real ales. I, when I go out on a night out, try them you sort of like nah it's not for me but they're all right they're, they're nice but it's just like no don't like that taste um i'll try something else but this this has got a really whole horrible taste to it um i'm gonna dive in i've had the taste before pardon me excuse me it's very strong because I'm feeling it now. Dog. So I'll give it the. Definitely got fuggles in it. So I don't like this at all. Oh man, it tastes like it's not ready. Oh, what? That is the finished product. Really? Really? My God. How the hell can anybody sell this? To be honest, I, I know um, drinking ale is, is is all about taste and stuff, but I brew better beer than this. Um, 